With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. Let's understand the given question. A spring is stretched by applying a load to its free end. This strain produced in this spring is. So, question is saying one of these spring is stressed by applying a load to its free end. So, strain produced in this spring will be. We have four options A volumetric, B shear, C longitudinal shear, D longitudinal. So, we have to tell that which of the following is correct. Now, we can start from the given. So, we have given that one of the load is applied to the spring. Now, suppose we have a spring like this. We have a spring like this. And this is the free end. And at this free end, we have applied a load. We have applied a load. And that load is, suppose, this load is W. We have applied a load and this load is W. Okay. So, we know that, we know that if we have a straight wire, we have a straight wire and we are applying a force F in along with the length of the wire. So, there will be stretching, stretching within the wire. So, this is stretching, we call this, uh, due to this stretching, we, um, we have strain that is change in length divided by initial length so that we call longitudinal strain that is longitudinal means that is along with the length of the wire or any of the material now now we have to talk about shear so we can write here this is longitudinal longitudinal now we have to talk about shear so suppose we have a block like this we have a block like this and we are applying a shear force like this means get this upper surface towards right direction and bottom surface towards left direction so this block will deform like this take off card we can take example of for the shear force like this so um, we can see that this is shear strain. This is shear strain. This is longitudinal strain. Now we have to talk about volumetric. Volumetric means suppose we have a sphere like this and we are applying the force from the all direction. So what will happen? This sphere will reduce this size so this will become small adjustment small like this so we call this volumetric strain now we have understand about all these strains that we have given in the options so if we know about all these strains so we can easily tell that which type of strain will develop within the spring when the load is added at the free end of the spring so in the free end of this spring load is added then there is the extension or we can draw the diagram again this will be like this okay so this will this has been uh, this has been stressed along with the length and this has been deformed also so we call this that string is deform uh, there is a deformation that's why shear and there is a length stretching that's why longitudinal so we can write here the strain types are uh, shear and longitudinal we can write here strain types are shear plus longitudinal So we can write here according to option option 
See longitudinal and shear is correct answer for this question. I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.